Hey everyone. So, to simplify and evaluate an expression like this using logs, we can use a few of our log loss to make our work a little bit easier to deal with. So, let's start with recognizing that we have a log base 4 of a, which is maybe not the easiest value to right away come up with. If you know the value, then by all means go ahead. But what we can do to make it a tiny bit easier to evaluate with a calculator is notice that we have a 2 as a coefficient out front in front of the log. And one of our log laws, the power rule, tells us that a coefficient of a log can pop up as the exponent of our argument. And so we could write this log equivalently as the log base 4 of a p squared. Okay. And next we'll have 4 times the log base 4 of 1 over 16. Now we could apply um, a similar little trick. But in this case, it would actually not make this simpler to evaluate. We can actually go ahead and evaluate log base 4 of 116. Again, we're reminding ourselves that a log poses the question, what do we have to raise 4 to the power of for it to become 1 over 16? And we know the answer to that is negative 2, right? Negative to get the reciprocal, and then square to get the 4 to the 16. And so we can make this 4 times a value of negative 2. Of course, all within the bigger brackets. And now, in the next step, we can have three times log base 4 of 8 squared is 64, right? So we can write that as log base 4 of 64, which you might recognize uh, a bit more right away, a bit quicker. Um, plus 4 times negative 2 is, of course, negative 8 all squared. And now, Log base 4 of 64, we can get that number right away. That's simply 3, right? 4 cubed, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again gives us 64. And so again, log base 4 of 64 asks the question, what do we have to raise 4 to the power of for it to become 64? And the answer to that question is 3 plus, whoopsies, let's not forget our bigger brackets up above, 3 plus negative 8. All squared, right? And now I'll change colors for contrast. Um, we have 3 plus negative 8, which of course is negative 5, all squared. The square root is not attached to the 3, right? And so we have 3 times negative 5 squared is 25 for a final value of 75. Okay, so whenever we're evaluating logs um, and expressions containing logs, it's always just a matter of um, thinking which log rule can we use to facilitate our evaluation of the expression. Sometimes it's worth using a log rule and sometimes it's not. It really just depends on how the numbers work out. Okay, And then whenever we have equations then we can always um, write the logs together as one log, start transferring it to exponentials, so on and so forth. But I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and take care.